What's up travelers? So in this video I'm sitting at the oldest restaurant in Rome, Italy. This place opened in 1518. That's over 500 years. So it's called La Campagna, and as you can see, I just got this awesome Roman artichoke. I'm not sure what to expect, but oh man, this thing looks interesting. All right, let's dig into this thing and see how it tastes. Ooh, it's a lot softer than we expected. This thing just falls apart. Go straight for that heart here. Mm. Oh yeah. You know, everybody tells me, hey, you're in Rome, you gotta be eating the artichokes. Yeah, I've had some artichoke cream and stuff like that, but man, I've never actually had the actual artichoke. Just plain old artichoke. First time I had it at the oldest restaurant in Rome. Man, this thing is delicious. Mm. So I was lucky enough that I got here early enough. I was the first customer through the door. Usually you gotta have a reservation. We want you to call ahead to make the reservation. But I didn't know that. Their website's completely in Italian. I'll link that down below. So I didn't know that you had to have a reservation. 
I got here. I was about a half hour early, so I waited for them to open. They let me in a little bit early, and they got me in, sat me down. I was able to get some really good shots of of the entire restaurant and, uh, without anybody in it, so that was kind of cool. But I expect this place is getting ready to start popping. <laughs> Mm. This is so good. We're gonna have a three course meal here. The artichoke, I believe, was six euros. This is a perennially uh, Michelin rated restaurant, so things are a little bit pricey, but you know, it is what it is. Guy for eating at really cool historic places like this, you gotta pay sometimes. I also ordered some roast lamb that should be here any time now and that was another 18 euros and uh, I haven't decided on what I'm gonna have for dessert yet uh, the menu is entirely in Italian so that's always fun too <laughs> man this is good. so good so this isn't the oldest restaurant in the world it's just the oldest restaurant in Rome there, there's a wine bar that's a bit older actually uh, I think it's down in the south but I think from the research that I've done I think this is about the 12th oldest restaurant in the world maybe 11th it's hard to tell there's not really a whole lot of information on it and a lot of the articles that you find that are trying to rate the oldest restaurants they're not really good at what they did <laughs> Uh, their research wasn't very keen like they didn't even have this place on it and like a, a lot of their older restaurants apparent were like younger so yeah it is what it is can't wait till that lamb gets here check out this new hat and this new shirt <laughs> pretty awesome man this is the new merch there's also some will travel for coffee merch that i've also got up for grabs if you haven't noticed yet the, underneath the video is a little shelf that has merchandise there if you're interested in helping me out grab a hat shirts stickers coffee cups go ahead and go check it out i would be really grateful so this has my logo on it but it doesn't have any branding other than that so it doesn't have the name of the channel or anything like that on it it's just this cool logo if you're interested i would really appreciate it if you were to go and pick one up or 10. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man. Look at that. That is work of beauty. It smells so good. Let's just dive in here. Let's try one of these lamb juice soaked potatoes. Crunchy, bursting with flavor. Oh my lord. Hello mortals, it's me, your favorite lord and savior, Jesus. And I just wanted to take a short break from my very, very busy schedule of, uh, well, you know, miracles and uh, other Jesus duties up here to have a little divine intervention with you. You see, I wanted to tell you about a glorious YouTube channel called Tasting Travel. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, you could trust me. I am like the most reputable person, well, ever. So, there's that. So be sure to give them a like and subscribe. And also, Ring that notification bell so an angel can get its wings. Hallelujah. Now, I'd love to stick around and rain down blessings, but I'm kind of like the busiest messiah ever. And I need to get back to these mansions because they're definitely not going to build themselves. So you stay blessed and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Amen. Jesus. That's one of the best pieces of potato I've ever had in my life. Oh, oh, oh and now the showstopper.
โอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้โหโอ้Some crazy flavor to it. I'm not even 100% sure what all goes about this. Oh. That is a taste bud symphony worth every penny. Oh man. I mean, it's it's cooked so well. You can cut it with a butter knife. Just a piece of the skin. Did you hear that crunch? <laughs> oh man! Wow. It's really hard to say anything other than wow. Italy, Italy, Italy. Italy. You know, I struggle with my weight in the states. Where I live, it's mostly just fast food. It's, you can't get anything like this. No, you even think about it. If you want something like this, you got to make it yourself. And then the ingredients. If you want those, you're not getting Italian-grown ingredients. Period. So we can't even come close. But if we could, I'd be 600 pounds. This is way too good. Roasted lamb with potatoes. That's what I ordered. I can't remember the Italian phrasing for it, but. It was so good. I highly, highly recommend. I know I say this a lot in most of my videos, but I highly, highly recommend you come to this place. I'm telling you, food should not be this good. I totally forgot to hit record on this camera for this whole dessert. Hopefully the audio on the other camera picks it up and you won't see my face the entire time. <laughs> Here, this is what it's called. Uh, it's something I've, I have no idea what it is. It looks interesting for sure. Uh, <laughs> Looks absolutely delicious, but uh, yeah, let's just dig in and find out what's going on. Uh, just go with it. <laughs> it doesn't want to come up here. All right, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I think we got a little bit of everything. It reminds me of powdered sugar frosting. My mom used to make powdered sugar frosting all the time when I was a little kid. And it was just like my favorite thing in the world. Super sweet though. It's got some little crunchies at the bottom of it. And then, I think these are like caramel noodles. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's amazing. And then this thing that's chewy. I want to say it's probably made out of almonds or pistachios. Maybe walnut. It is. 
So much sugar. <laughs> but, oh, damn, is it good. My review of this place is come here. <laughs> so the texture of this is kind of like fudge that's just starting to melt. You know what I mean? Interesting texture. Oh man, it is satisfying. So that dessert was called Monte Blanc. So good. If you have enjoyed this video, you like videos about amazing food from around the world, tourist destinations, and historical places, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. That way you get a message whenever we upload a new video. And as always, eat great food.